And I'm back with more urban legends from your childhood that were probably hidden at the back of your mind. Maybe even pushed away because they scared you as a kid. But honestly, researching these legends has caused so many memories from my childhood to resurface. So maybe some of these will sound familiar to you as well. Hey everyone and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10 and welcome to today's video. I'm your host Lindsay Ivan and today I'm bringing you Top 10 Scary Childhood Urban Legends Part 2. If you haven't watched Part 1 make sure you go ahead and check that one out as well. Starting off at number 10 we have The Watchful Paintings. This story surrounds a man who was on a walk in the woods. Since it got too dark he needed to find a place to sleep. That is when he conveniently came across a cabin. First off, don't you know that as soon as the street lights turn on then you have to go home? Like that that was a rule that I had in my childhood. Anyways, when he entered the cabin, he noticed that it was covered in paintings of people whose eyes would follow him. But this dude clearly wanted his 7 hours of sleep or something because he decided to stay anyways. In the morning, he noticed that there were no more paintings on the walls. There were only windows. Okay, there seems to be a common theme in these legends of people mistaking glass and windows as other things. Like in the other urban legend, she thought a mirror was a window. Like come on man, you can, you can see your reflection. Wouldn't it be terribly obvious to tell what's glass and what's not? Next up at number 9 we have the girl with the ribbon. This legend surrounds a girl that would always wear a ribbon around her neck. Eventually one day she marries her childhood crush. He asked about the ribbon but she stated that she just can't take it off. They continue to live a happy life and even have a baby together. And yet the woman had never taken the ribbon off. Even after continually asking about it, the woman kept saying she can't take it off. Then one day the husband decides to see for himself what's up and he takes off the ribbon when she is sleeping. As soon as he does this, the woman's head falls off. I mean, uh, I bet he lost his head over that one. I mean, that must have been one sturdy ribbon to keep her head on like that for all those years. Mm. Coming in at number 8, we have the babysitter. Honestly, I am lucky that I've never really had to babysit children. There are just way too many babysitting horror stories out there. Now, this legend is about a young girl babysitting some children when she receives a phone call. The voice is distorted and creepy and says, check on the children. She ignored it. But then it happened again, saying the exact same thing, check on the children. This time she called the police. The police then arrived at the house and traced the call. However, the police found that the call came from inside the house. When the girl ran up to check on the children, they had been killed. And the message, I told you to check on the children, was written on the wall in blood. Honestly, that's kind of on her for being so careless. Like, did she not hear the killer on the other end of the phone from inside her house? And how did he even get in? Did she leave the doors unlocked? Probably because people in urban legends never lock their doors. Next up at number 7 we have Furby. Now, I don't know if this one is a super popular urban legend, but it was one that haunted me during my childhood. So it surrounds Furbies. You know, those gremlin creepy looking toys with eyes that look like they're staring right into your soul. Well, when I was younger, it was said that if you owned a Furby and left it out during the night with batteries in, then it would sneak up on you while you were sleeping and attack you. As a result, I never put the batteries in my Furby and it spent most of the time hidden at the back of my closet. But then I had a fear that this would make the Furby mad, so I just pretended to be nice to it so it wouldn't hurt me. I mean it worked cause uh, look at me now, I'm alive. Moving on to number 6 we have the family of legend misfortune. Who has heard of the saying, step on a crack and you'll break your mother's back? I have. Now this is a superstition but it's also an urban legend. Legend has it that if you step on a crack on the sidewalk then it will cause your family some sort of bad luck. The break your mother's back thing was just a way for them to say cause bad luck. It won't actually break your mother's back. But apparently in this legend, a young boy was skipping home from school and was jumping on the cracks on the sidewalk. When he returned home, he found that his mother was in the hospital from a spinal injury after falling down the stairs. He then linked his mother's broken back to him stepping on the cracks. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the smiling woman. This next legend is about a woman who extended her smile up her cheeks giving her that joker look. Now legend goes that this woman would target children and slice their cheeks. She would approach a child and ask them if they thought that she looked beautiful. If the child said yes, then she would cut their cheeks so that they too could be beautiful like her. Now if the child said no, then she would cut their mouth anyway so that they would look ugly just like her. Like dang, there's, there's no way to win here. You're getting sliced up no matter what, it doesn't seem fair. Next up at number 4 we have the earwigs. Ugh, this legend just grossed me out as a child. So 
Everyone knows what an earwig is, right? Those tiny little bugs with pinchers. And I'm sure you've heard about the fact that they can crawl into your ear. Hence the name. Well, this legend states that one day an earwig crawled into a woman's ear. She couldn't get it out and it ended up burrowing its way into her brain. From there, it laid eggs in her brain. And some say that earwigs even ate her brain. Ooh, I feel like there's something in my ear. That ever happened to you? Like you talk about bugs or a spider and then all of a sudden you think that your skin is itchy and you feel them like crawling on you? Ugh. Well, anyways, as a kid I was terrified anytime I saw an earwig. I was so scared that it was going to crawl into my ear and like eat my brain or gross. Moving on to number three, we have Seaweed Sally. This legend is about a girl named Sally who haunts summer camps. Apparently Sally was a camper who couldn't swim. One day they were going out canoeing and Sally not wanting to miss out went in a canoe with her friend. However, her friend was trying to scare her and started rocking the canoe side to side. Then all of a sudden the canoe tipped and Sally not being able to swim drowned. And of course they weren't wearing any life jackets because people in urban legends have no common sense. It is then said that Sally haunts the lake and will grab your leg when you are swimming and drag you down underwater. I remember being at summer camp and hearing this urban legend, Whew, it totally scared me. Next up at number 2 we have the cemetery urban legend. I'm sure at some point as a kid you would hold your breath while passing a graveyard. I know I did. Well legend has it that if you don't hold your breath while passing a graveyard then the spirit the spirit of someone who has recently died will haunt you. It is said that they are jealous that you are breathing and that they are not. Another version of this legend says that if you don't hold your breath then the ghost will chase your car or will appear in your back seat. This legend actually has an interesting backstory though. Apparently back in the day people would hold their breath when walking past cemeteries because they thought that if they didn't then they would end up breathing in the disease or sickness of those who just passed. Then obviously it just had to get more twisted into a ghostly story. And in our number one spot we have the keyhole. This story is about a man who was staying at a hotel while away for a business trip. Now on his way to finding his hotel room, he noticed one door had a keyhole. It was strange to him since all the other doors had electronic room keys. Now the next day he was so curious about this room that he decided to peek through the keyhole. When doing so, he saw a lady with long white hair. Her back was dim so he couldn't see much of her. Later that day when passing through the room he noticed that the lock was now covered with something red. He thought that it had just been blocked off from him being nosy. The next day he decided to ask a hotel employee about the room. She said that nobody ever goes in that room. A bride had passed away there after waiting for her groom who never showed up. She said that the woman who haunts the room has white hair and a bright red eye. Dun, dun, dun. So this ghost was watching him through the keyhole. That's what you get for being nosy. And that's it for today's video. It is time for our comment shout out portion. I will be shouting out comments from my video top 10 scary real detective stories. Gore sometimes commented, something interesting for you to read. Oh, you're so clever. Wow. Oh, it's cause in the video I said comment down below something interesting for me to read and well, they did listen to me so thanks, I guess. Nerdygamer123 commented, Nancy Drew is just a classic. Yes. Thank you, I love Nancy Drew. Seriously, I'm a huge fan of all the games by her interactive and all the old books, so yeah, I like you. Robert Wells commented, can't get over how dope she is. Well, thanks Robert, I'm sure you're a cool person yourself. Sicario Morris commented, so you have seen Scooby Doo. Are you kidding? I love Scooby Doo, a classic cartoon that I still watch to this day. And that's it for today's video. As always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below something interesting for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I'm your host Lindsay Ivan and I'll see you when I see you. I think it would be terribly obvious to I think it would be terribly obvious. Uh, I think it's terribly obvious. Oh my gosh. I think it's ter <laughs> I think it's terribly obvious. So I tried. I tried. He asked about the ribbon, but she stated that she just can't take it off. They continue. <laughs> and it ended up burring, burrowing. She couldn't get it out. She couldn't get it out, and it ended up. She couldn't get it out, and it ended up burrow. Oh my gosh. She couldn't get it out, and it ended up bur. bur, bur. <laughs> I'm sure at some point as a kid you would hold. I'm sure at some point as a kid you would hold your breath. What? Oh my gosh.
Thank you.